When a preseason top 10 team takes the field for a scrimmage, it's sometimes difficult to pick out the positives and the negatives. As the Tigers competed in their first full-scale scrimmage Saturday morning, it was easy to see why this squad has gotten so much attention. Coach Hall's team had positive plays at nearly every position on the field, with the defensive front and the quarterback stealing the show for the better part of two hours in front of a large group of fans at Tiger Stadium. Defensively, you know, they were flying around, making some plays, swarming. Uh, thought Kyle made some big throws, had a few touchdowns, and uh, saw the young backs get a lot of work. And, uh, you know, saw Willie Packer, he's been banged up a little bit, and saw him make a few plays today. And uh, so uh, that, off the top of my head, that's kind of the things that come to mind. Newcomers Willie Packer and Rich Wilson combined with guys like Mario Gaynor and Ryan Jones to give the offense headaches on Saturday as the group up front combined for 11 sacks and two forced fumbles. A transfer from the University of Kentucky, Wilson hopes it's a scenario that will play out many times throughout the 2012 season. A great group of guys. Um, everyone works hard. You know, Willie Packer, uh, when I came, I actually thought he was a senior. You know what I'm saying? The way he plays so well. But uh, besides, we got Willie Packer, we got uh, Deion Lacey, and we got a great group of leadership, and you know what I'm saying? That's going to lead us in the right direction. So I'm just trying to, I'm just kind of on for the ride. At the quarterback position, Gary Johnston got the first snap and looked sharp in the initial drive that led to a Ryan Smith field goal. Kyle Caldwell also had a successful day, completing 15 of 18 passes for 173 yards and two touchdowns. It's a day Hall and his two quarterbacks are pleased with. You know, the last scrimmage, Kyle got the first snap. We're splitting everything 50-50. We're going to watch this tape, and, uh, you know, we may make a decision on Monday on some things. We might not. We're going to see how the tape looks and see which one played better. Uh, you know, I didn't uh, – you know, Kyle's 15, 18, obviously that's a great day, but I'm gonna, we're going to evaluate the tape and move forward from there. I'm pleased with it, but there's always room for improvement. There's always room for check downs, doing the easy stuff when we get pressure. So we missed a couple of those today. So there's always room for improvement. Running back Matt Willis saw action on the first two drives before Danny Hobbs, Jave Swindle, and the young running backs took over the UWA backfield. All in all, it was hard for a guy like offensive lineman Skeeter Sellers not to be impressed with the guys around him. Matt Willis did great today. Both the quarterbacks had a good day. Both showed command of the offense, showed great knowledge of the offense. Kyle had a good day, and so did Gary. Saw a lot of big plays from the receivers. Reggie Hall and Seth did really good today and just had a lot of big plays. Coach Hall is giving his team the day off on Sunday before his squad begins its final week of fall camp on Monday. Reporting on UWA's fall scrimmage, Trey Littlefield, UWAathletics.com.